Good morning everybody, happy Easter. I've got my Easter hat on and I'm excited today to make some pumpkin and ginger pancakes. It's a really good recipe to make for an Easter Sunday. And it's from my morning cookbook cookbook. Here is the recipe. I don't know if that'll show up correctly. Anyways, um, it makes enough pancakes for about three people or so, so I like to double the recipe so that there's uh, more to go around. So I'm starting off with, um, it uh, calls for one cup of flour, but I put two cups of flour in um, because um, to double it, that would be good. And then I'm gonna put in, instead of two tablespoons of brown sugar, I'm gonna put in four tablespoons. So I'm gonna put that in. And then it calls for um, one teaspoon of baking powder. I'm gonna put in uh, two teaspoons of baking powder. One, two. And then it calls for a half a teaspoon of baking soda. So I'm gonna put in a teaspoon of that. And then the cinnamon calls for a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. So I'm gonna put in a whole teaspoon of that. And same thing with the nutmeg. It calls for a half a teaspoon and I'm gonna put in a whole teaspoon. Oopsies. I'll put in a little more. All right, and then it calls for a half a teaspoon of powdered ginger. So I am going to put in um, a teaspoon of that. Yeah, a little too much there. There we go. And then it calls for one egg, so I'll put in two eggs. Here are my eggs, put that in. And then I'll start getting my vanilla um, yogurt in. You can put in plain yogurt or vanilla yogurt. I had vanilla yogurt in the fridge, so I'm gonna put that in. There we go. And then it calls for three fourths a cup of milk, so I doubled that, put that in. And I'm gonna start mixing it now before I put in the butter and the pumpkin. So it gets to be a nice consistency. Here we go, getting there. I'm gonna need both my hands for this, so I'm gonna turn it around. So the kids already went outside and found their Easter eggs that we were able to dye last night. And um, then I grew up with the tradition of hiding uh, Easter baskets. So then they came inside and looked for their Easter baskets. So that was fun. So now I have the pumpkin here. It calls for 3 fourths cup of uh, pumpkin. So I just double that amount, put that in. And then we're gonna mix that. So I'll turn it so you can see that. Mix that in. And then it calls for two tablespoons of melted butter. So I doubled that and put that in. And we're gonna mix that up. All right, I'm gonna need both hands for that, so I'm gonna put it that this way. Here we go. Mix that up. And I mix it, I don't really get a, a mixer, a machine or anything like that to mix it up, because it doesn't really matter if it's just a little bit lumpy, because it all smooths out when you um, start to put it on the um, pan to cook. All right, 
So here we go, here's what it looks like. And then I'm going to heat up my little skillet thing here, plug it in. And luckily it heats up fairly quickly, so that's good. So I got everything in. And what I like to make sometimes, what I like to put in there sometimes um, is chocolate chips, because the chocolate chips are really, really good with it. But I don't have any chocolate chips today, so um, next time I'll do that. So we're going to butter this, the skillet. And then I'm going to put Oh, about a half a cup, maybe a little bit more on the skillet for this. So let me put this here for now. There we go. Getting those all on there to start cooking. So there we go, they're cooking away now. So let me show you that, here we go. So that takes about like three minutes or so, four minutes on a side, and then you can flip it over. I have the temperature right around 325. And I gotta get a spatula, so I'll come over this way. And grab a spatula. So usually on Easter Sunday, the kids and I, or at least one or two of them, come with me and go to church um, at Prince of Peace, and that's a uh, really nice service, so we usually go there, but everything's online right now, which is kind of sad, but um, at least we're staying safe. And it's kind of nice to all be home and having a nice Easter brunch this morning. So as you can see, they're starting to, to cook. Nope, a little too early there. So last night we made a bunch of Easter eggs and um, took them out this morning before it rained and hid them. Here are a couple of my our Easter eggs that we made. Let's see. I always make one every year of, of Rourke of the Birdman, so here he is. I'm sure he loves that. And then Rourke, of course, made a bird one, which turned out pretty well. Looks like that. And Maddie made a cow one, which I like. That's pretty good. And what else do we have? We've got a pig. And then this is, what's this one called, guys? Super, the bean guy. Killer bean. That's something I just learned this last week. So they did a good job. Here they are. All right, I'm going to go back and check and see how they're looking. Now oh, they're starting to puff up a little bit more. Almost time to flip them. Another minute or so. go. That one's looking pretty good. Okay. 
So my cousin in California gave me this cookbook, um, this morning cookbook, that has some really, really good recipes in it for breakfast. Um, let's see what it looks like on the outside. It says fox and bear. And it's called morning food, and it's really good. And I think it's based from a restaurant in San Francisco. All righty. Let's see what this one's looking like. Looks pretty good. Oof. Sometimes I'm good at flipping, and other times not so good. I think I need to practice a little bit. So there they are. So it should take another minute or so to cook up and then they'll be ready to go. And it tastes really good with the um, real maple syrup. I know Amelia all of a sudden started to like the fake stuff, which is sort of hor horrifying. But um, that's fine, I guess. But I, I really like the real maple syrup with this. And then if you put a side of fruit with it, that's really good too. Another thing you could put on it, which I think would be great. I don't know how anybody else would feel about it in the family. But... If we, if I had Nutella, I think just a nice topping of Nutella on top would be something really good with the pancakes as well. So then just what I do to see if they're done, I kind of poke them in the middle and see if they're squishy or not. And that one looks pretty good. I think it looks like it's done. So I'm going to put it on a plate. And it's connected to that one. And we're all ready to go. So there you go. All done. Anyways, I hope you all have a good Easter. And I hope you can make this recipe. And um, I hope you have a good week coming up. So take care, everybody.